right, let's open the box and see what's inside. Nicely packaged. It's a nice firm cardboard. And inside we have one. And what do we have here? We have the body and a USB cable. Okay. On the side we have a very thick manual. And I can tell you from having looked on the web, it's a very detailed manual and well worthwhile reading. And lastly, we have the wings and the tail. Okay, so we'll put that aside and we'll look at the bird itself. We have a charging point, right? And the charging point accepts this baby here. And this baby just slots in only one way, it has to be the right way, and the USB cable, it's a USB, a micro USB, goes into it like so, and you plug into your USB output. Okay. <clears throat> On the top we have the tail control. We have more tail control. We have an aerial. And we have an on and off switch. And here are the controls for the wings. So let's have a look at the wings. And the manual says you've got to put the wings the right way up. This sort of makes sense. Let's have a look. It's the tail. Now, one side is printed and the other side is not. That is the unprinted side. It's much shinier. That is the printed side. It's not quite so shiny. It actually just slots on and slots in. Like so. <laughs> it's as easy as that. So, and that should come off. Eh, no, it doesn't come off very easily. But this is the, the control. With the tail right the way down like that, it's going to fly fast. With the tail up like that, it's going to fly slow. And of course, you have control within for about one, two, three, four. So we've got five positions. Okay, got it. Right, we have two wings. which are slightly stuck together, but that's okay. Again, there's a printed side and an unprinted side. We want the printed side on top. And this should just slot in the front with a push fit. And these go onto the tail control, which is actually the directional control for the wings and they should just slot on without hopefully too much problem. Except that it's, it's a little bit fiddly to do without a tool, but there we are. That's on. And what this does is it flexes the wing as, as the, uh, the bird is turned, so it flexes the wing. And it is very clever because it does truly mimic the way that birds actually fly. Once again, we find the slot. Am I the right way? Yes. Find the slot and push. Come on. Push in. That's it. Push. Pousse. If you're into the French and This is just a wee bit fiddly. I hope you can see this with one of my cameras. Uh, there we are. And that is the total 
way of putting the bird together. Now I have already installed the app. I have not made any attempt to run the app. But it's called the flying app. <clears throat> and here we are. And it says, you already know how to fly a drone. Forget all your instincts and carefully read the following. Okay, so I do recommend that you do read all this. Uh, before flying, you need to feed me. That means charging the battery, which I have already done. And uh, flight conditions, adjust the tail, launch into the air. If there's a breeze, tail setting, balancing the wings, which is important. And control. Master me in flight, flight commands, etc. So this should come up only once. And once you have connected to your bird, they should no longer be there. Okay, so when we get to the end, we click Nest. And she will try to find the bird. Now, I need to switch her on. It's a fitted little switch there. <clears throat> there we go. And we'll wait for the connection to connect. Nest. More. Let's click the more button, see what happens. Nothing. Steering wheel, easy. Phone. All right. Guide. That takes us to the guide. How do we get out of this? I don't know. Go back. Go back. Looks like I have to scroll all the way through it to get out of it, which is a bit of a nuisance. So you don't really want to have to do that every time. Nest. Okay, we're back to nest. Find bird. So if I click find bird, it crashed. Ha! That's not a good start, folks. Right, nest. Choose your bird. Bionic bird. Bird name. Bird name. <coughs> what should we call it? Moira's. Myra's bird. That'll do for the moment. Myra with an apostrophe S, come on. Myra's bird. <clears throat> okay. And enter. Right. And we're connected. Solid light. Blue solid light. So we've found the bird, we've named the bird, we've looked at the guide, and that's also the manual. Okay, so I have intuitive steering going. Now, I'm going to hold her, because I don't want her to go anywhere, and we'll see what happens. We'll go to the right, joystick, and intuitive. So, we'll go for joystick, I think, and we'll do one finger. Press to start. Press to start. Press to start. Not a lot happening. Oh, is it just a single press? Oh yeah, it's just a single press. Okay, so, there we go. It's working. How about that? Isn't that good? And I like the on-screen controls. It's showing me directional control. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see. It's showing me directional control, how much I'm giving it. Right, so if I go left, see the left button, I go right, see the right button, and you could see the the back flexing, moving left and right. So if I go right and left, can you see it moving? I'm not sure if you can see that. Anyway, I think that's it. I'm not going to fly because the wind is blowing today. We're due for some heavy weather tonight. And my room is not big enough to fly indoors. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you'll go out and buy your own Meta Bird. Meta Bird? Yeah, Meta Bird. Because 
they're real, really, really fun. I have the earlier bird, the earlier, the bug, as they call it, the meta bug, and uh, I love that. You can, s I'll, I'll link to the videos that I've done <coughs> for that in uh, down there. So please give a like, subscribe if you want to, click the bell button, and do please comment. Bye for now. See you in the next video.